too. I dare say she's right that Australians are getting a little sick of this. Why, Riles, are her denials not ending this matter? I can't see what the fuss is about. I can't see where the allegations actually are. Prime Minister Julia Gillard delivers for our members, delivers for this nation in spades. I cannot see where there is a legitimate point of public interest or ongoing police investigation. History will judge her, her kindly, I think. Either way, I don't get it. This is an ancient AWU matter. It's 20 years ago. It was all sorted out and dealt with through the industrial courts, police investigations down in Victoria. The AWU slush fund affair. Do you think it's time she gives a full statement on this to put it to bed? I have nothing to... OK, we'll just break out of that there. That was Because until there is any more information, there's really, frankly, nothing there. And I don't understand. Here, there, there are so many tiny little, almost inconsequential things being turned into something that's supposedly big, but I'm sorry, I might be as thick as two bricks. It's, it's kind of complicated. It happened all, allegedly mm -hmm. a long time ago. How much will yep. this affect Julia Gillard or is it kind of a tune out um, factor by a lot of Australians, do you think? I just don't understand why so many people are still writing about it. I'm proud to be a supporter of Julia Gillard. Where is there anything of substance? Where is it? Hanging around with close mates like Michael Smith is not going to lead you to the facts. I mean, um, she was very impressive. Stop. She's never said we shouldn't deal with this because it's a long time ago. There is no way that a credible commentator is going to go any further than credible commentators already have on this saga. Because I can't see it. Um, it's, it's essentially suspicion by association. That... And I'm proud to lead a union that backs her 110 per cent. There's the question, absolutely the question, again, the question, and innocent explanations. Nothing she does in regards to this yeah. is ever going to satisfy. She yeah. could resign four times over and it still wouldn't be enough yeah. until she's literally uh, you know, in the stocks and yeah. fruit being thrown at her, chiefly by Bruce. They're, they're crazy. Really... The ongoing supposed revelations of a man called Ralph Blewett. She was treated appallingly. And I, for one, and I'm sure other commentators feel the same way, am getting sick and tired of getting bombarded with his emails. Innuendo and investigation. It's all about trying to associate the Prime Minister or a political person with something that's a bit untoward. Thank you for being here, PM. Thank you, Pierre Honor. And we've got you back. For an individual lawyer to not know about a letter from a bank on a conveyancing file, and for that 18 years later to be dredged out as significant, is little short of comical. We're talking about allegations that are so long ago, and at the heart of it, what is, what, there is no allegation against the Prime Minister. Breathless headlines today. Without more evidence, I'm not interested in your emails. I wanted to ask you about us. First up, Michael Smith, who is working with Ralph Blewett and former industrial lawyer Harry Nowicki to dredge up all this old news. OK, we're all giving Julie Gillard the benefit of the doubt, right? <laughs> um, Stop sending them. This is unnecessary. A lawyer filling out a form for a client on instructions that contained a lie. Um, how do you see our responsibility and, uh, and the way that we should be reporting this matter? It's lawyers do things for clients on instructions all the time. But Julie, uh, Julie, uh, Julie Bishop did say there that, uh, that uh, the Prime Minister is not being honest. In other words, she's accusing her of lying. Uh, but where, in, in, in what way is she, is she lying over this? As she has dealt with that herself in her extensive press conference. I believe you that you did nothing wrong. I, I have I made a comment on Friday on my show, The Contrarians, that I thought that this is all a beat up and that we should move on to the major issues. This either has to go away or it's got to stand up and so far it's a house of cards. So How long will it go for until it starts to backfire on the opposition? The is there anything else? Because this is becoming absurd in my view. In fact, all of the evidence points to the fact that she could not and would not have seen the cheque. This, this ran for days. There was nothing in it. This is becoming oh, absurd. Sure. If it becomes front page news and an issue that the Prime Minister is expected to respond to, that she didn't remember a letter from a bank. Uh, I think it, it'll run until the people get sick of it. And, and there's nothing in this report of this week, front page in the Oz again, front page, that $5,000 was put into Julia Gillard's account by her then boyfriend, Bruce Wilson. And that's, and that's where, I mean, at what point then, at what point 
does this either, do your concerns get satisfied and then you stop or do you just keep on throwing stuff around wondering if somewhere along the way it starts to tarnish the reputation of the Prime Minister. If there's nothing there, there's nothing there. So far you've been in the leaping to conclusions business. Is it, does the media have a right to demand to know the details, Jared, of a transfer such as that? Alright, we'll put it to Sunrise viewers this morning. They always have a good view on sure. things and we'll pass on their thoughts as to whether they've reached that saturation point. Alright, well we've given it an extensive airing and one that many of our listeners in fact clearly aren't interested in, but, but then that opens, she be opens you up to, to, to answering every allegation, no matter how personal, no well, matter how private. Presumably there shouldn't be any others.